All right, check it out, guys. We have had the most insane 2017, full of delicious street food, so much amazing food, and these are the highlights. Let's check it out. 2017 was the best year of my life, traveling all throughout Asia and eating a ton of street food. Hi, I'm Trevor James, and I'm traveling and eating to make videos for you, along with my fiance, Ting. She films and I eat, and we both go deep for street food. I've been living in China for four years now, eating and filming non-stop for you. In the past year, I ate hundreds of street foods all around China, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, India, and Thailand. And we've gone deep into regions to uncover some incredibly unique, delicious, and strange street foods. I'll compile for you into street food tour videos and upload it right here on YouTube. 2017 was the year the Food Ranger YouTube channel really took off. And near Ting and I both began pursuing food range in full time with our hearts 100% committed to creating videos for you. These are the top 10 street foods we found and the story of our 2017. 2017 was a crazy year and these are the highlights. Check it out. We started off 2017 by spending New Year's in Chongqing, China, the land of spicy and mouth numbing hot pot and incredibly flavorful Sichuan cuisine. We met a couple new friends as we were exploring the back lanes who invited us for some hot pot with them. Ah, okay, okay. Fei Chang, intestine skewers. And it was around this time that Ting and I were starting to get fully committed into food ranging. I had just dropped out of culinary school to go full time, creating these food and travel videos for you. And it was the best feeling ever. This was definitely the best decision of my life. And after Chongqing, we were craving the flavors of Malaysia. So we flew in with our good friend Chu Chu to go for a full on comprehensive street food tour of Kuala Lumpur. Number 10 was definitely the Mao Shan Wang durian we had in KL, with that butterscotch sweet stickiness that's enough to make anyone fall in love. Liu Lianda Wang. We also enjoyed some incredible Chinese, Malay, and Indian cuisine. And we put it all into one delicious street food tour video for you. If we could, we would probably live half the time in Sichuan and half the time in KL. The food in both places is just off the hook. <laughs> After parting ways with Choo Choo, Ting and I flew into Delhi at the end of January and began food range in the back lanes for some delicious street foods. This was our second trip to India, but this time was unfortunately a little more difficult. Right after we landed, I got sick by drinking a fake bottled water which set my stomach off for the whole trip, so we only managed to film two videos. But for number nine, we found some insanely delicious curries on the street side in Delhi that were worth flying there for just to eat. Looks amazing. So we came back to India for a third time in 2017 to eat way more street foods. This is truly what dreams are made of here. And after India, we flew into Thailand to meet Mark Weens and Ying and explore Bangkok for a full spectrum of Thai cuisine. Mark brought us to eat so many delicious street foods and for number eight, a huge lobster as well. This was definitely a highlight of 2017. The head butter. Dude, that's like a bite you don't even want to swallow. After enjoying all the food in Bangkok, Ting and I took a very special trip down south to a special place to us, Pratchwap Kiri Khan. Here, I proposed to Ting on the beach and she said yes. We spent a couple weeks exploring the region, eating curry and hiking mountains. It was the best time ever. And afterwards, we flew back to China to spend time with Ting's family in Guangzhou and went for a huge street food tour of Cantonese cuisine in southern China. We tried a ton of delicious food, but the highlight and number seven was definitely the whole roast pig that we enjoyed in the hillside in Ting's hometown outside of Guangzhou. That is so beautiful. Oh, xie xie ni. Mm. It was so crispy on the outside and soft and fatty on the inside. After this, it was already warming up in April, so we took the high-speed train to Guilin, going over 250 kilometers an hour to one of China's most beautiful destinations and found our number six dish, the Guilin Mi Fen rice noodles with ultra crispy pork. Just watching them chop the meat with the scent flowing through the air was worth the trip alone. Oh yeah. Oh, it's too big. We also took a boat down the Yangtze River and enjoyed the fresh air and the greenery all on rental bikes. 
Then we came back to our home base in Chengdu and did one more Sichuan street food tour before going on one of the best trips of my life. We took the train all the way from Chengdu to the far west of China's Xinjiang province all along the ancient Silk Road and discovered so many amazing specialties and friendly people. Apart from proposing to Ting, this was 100% the highlight of 2017, going deep into Xinjiang, meeting so many friendly Uyghur locals and trying their incredible food. Hey, huh? yeah, <laughs> we found so many amazing dishes, like lamb stuffed pockets deep from a tandoor oven, huge chunks of lamb meat from a tandoor oven, tons of insanely delicious hand pulled noodles, and a huge spectrum of unique street dishes like lamb skull meat, lamb head soup for breakfast. I think that's, oh my, are we actually doing this? Mixed organs, and more all of which made Xinjiang the highlight of 2017 and a must-visit destination for food lovers from around the world. Here's where we found our number five dish, the Da Panji, big chicken plate spicy chicken dish infused with cinnamon and star anise, all on top of a thick bed of hand-pulled noodles. Yes, Jenny. <laughs> this is true joy. Oh yeah. Slurping these noodles covered in that fragrance is absolutely mind-blowing. And here in Xinjiang, you can go really deep into local farmers markets and have a unique travel experience just to try them. And after our Xinjiang trip, we flew into Hong Kong quickly and made a quick street food tour trying some nice dim sum and noodles, followed by a trip to Beijing and another huge street food tour with our friend Chu Chu. Chuchu brought us to try some really unique dishes, like fermented bean soup that tasted like burnt socks. It smells like burnt socks. Shao de Watsuma. And a huge organ broth that was actually really delicious, along with our number four dish, some life changing Peking duck. It was so succulent and juicy and tender, you won't be able to stop. That is gonna be legendary. Oh. After Beijing, it was already the end of June, so we decided to make a trip from the north of Vietnam all the way down south. We flew into Hanoi and tasted the best pho of my life, and slowly made our way down south to Saigon, visiting Hue and Da Nang City. Each place had such unique, fresh, and healthy food. We really didn't want to move on. In Saigon, we met up with our friend Sunny who brought us to taste some live coconut worms. Man, this looks disgusting. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I got the manual. Mm. That was an experience I'll mm. probably only have once. And after Vietnam, we flew into Kuching in Borneo to meet up with Chu Chu again and try some special Sarawak specialties. Here, we found number three, an amazing bamboo chicken in the Borneo rainforest, all made with local ingredients cut and prepared by our guide city. Wow. Oh, there it is. Oh! In Kuching, Borneo, Malaysia, we enjoyed some insane seafood with Chu Chu, and then flew right into Jakarta to experience some true Indonesian food and discovered the amazing hospitality of the locals and the beauty of Nasi Padang, where they bring you what feels like a hundred dishes to your table and you only pay for what you eat. This is where we found our number two, an incredible fish head curry in Jakarta that was so creamy and smooth and the flesh was so soft it melts in your mouth. Wow, that is succulent, it just falls off. Wow, look at that snapper head meat. Trying these dishes for the first time influenced our whole trip as we immediately decided we'd fly right into Padang, the source of nasi Padang, to try the real deal. We flew in and immediately fell in love, spending a couple weeks filming, eating, and having a good time before going to Madan, where we did another huge street food tour full of delicious Indonesian food. Wow, he's just cracking that claw. It's just spraying juice everywhere. Wow, look at that flesh. After Indonesia, we flew back into Chengdu, our home base. And since we hadn't been back to Sichuan for a while, we immediately shot a Sichuan hot pot video for you, trying the spiciest version possible and burning our mouths off. <laughs> oh. 
This is one of the spiciest things you'll ever eat, guys. It was here I discovered Ting Ting can seriously eat spicy. And right around this time, we were reaching 1 million subscribers, the most exciting moment of 2017. 2017 really was the best year of my life. It was the year I learned that you can create any crazy dream you have for yourself, pursue it, and achieve it. One million! We got one million subscribers, guys! <laughs> and now we're creating these street food videos for you full time. In one year, we brought this channel from 100,000 subscribers to 1 million. And to thank you for being part of this big journey we're on, we created a giveaway for two round trip tickets to Chengdu and a full on deep street food tour guided by us. And now is the perfect time to announce our winner to our huge giveaway for two round trip flight tickets to Chengdu and a full on street food tour guided by us. There were so many amazing entries to this contest, we had a hard time deciding, but we finally chose one, Narendra in the UK, and this is his reaction when we told him he won. Check it out. Narendra! Oh, shoot! Oh my god! I didn't see you! It was just an image, and I was like, what's happening? I heard a voice! I was like, is it God? No, it wasn't. No, <laughs> You're coming to China, buddy. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying anything I can. Anything, <laughs> everything. Even the brain, I'm gonna take a shot at it. I'll take a shot. Take a shot at <laughs> you wanna take a shot at the I'll brain? Take, I'll take a shot at the brain, yeah. We can't wait to take a shot of the brain with you. We'll be flying you out in the spring or summer of 2018 and bring you for a full-on street food tour in Chengdu and Sichuan. And after hitting 1 million subscribers and announcing our huge giveaway, we followed the ancient tea horse road down south from Chengdu all the way into China's southernmost province of Yunnan, tasting some amazing Tibetan and Yunnanese minority cooking all along the way. There was a ton of yak meat, so many friendly Tibetan locals, and massive feasts. And we were so lucky in Dali to find a huge Bai style community feast. The selection of food here was off the hook and a true once in a lifetime experience. Ah, oh, Thai bangla. That is strong rice liquor. And after Yunnan, we were craving Indian food. So we flew into Kolkata and created a five part Kolkata street food series for you. And also traveled into Amritsar, Lucknow, and Varanasi, all coming up on the channel very soon. Here in Kolkata, we had our number one dish, an amazing family feast from our friend Aditya and his family at home. A truly amazing experience that we'll never forget. Mmm. Oh. Wow. 2017 was also the year we launched our Thai Haula merch. It means amazing, it means cool, it means great, and I, it's what I always say on the streets of China when I walk up to vendors. It really makes people happy and smile, and this is a way to sport your positivity. We also have a new shirt coming out, Travel, Eat, Repeat. If you want to check those out, they're in the description below or in my pinned comment. That'll help support our channel and keep us traveling longer. None of this would have been possible without you. So I want to give you a huge thank you for being part of the food range and community. It's been a great time in 2017, and we're going to create so many more amazing street food videos for you in 2018.